everybody and welcome welcome to the channel this is your boy mars today we got some more drag cars to tune for you guys and as you guys see in the background got the barracuda formula s a really nice vehicle here that gives a lot of engine swaps you can drop in this thing um i'm gonna give you guys two engine swap tunes and also a third one as a bonus um, so the um, first one is going to be 6.2 liter V8. Uh, the second one is going to have a heavy engine in it. Um, they're both around 1,000 horsepower, so it's going to be pretty cool. Pretty cool, nice and decent, um, something that you guys are going to use. The final third engine is going to have that 8.9 liter V8 that gives you 1,500 horsepower. So like always, everybody new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And uh, let's get right to it, guys. To get this car, I believe you got to get like 20% or something rather. Um, not sure. Oh, I don't have this card, do I? Oh, look, it's a card I don't have. Let me buy it real quick. Sorry, guys. Let me buy it real quick here. I think I have almost every single car in the game. But I believe you got to get 20 points to get this car. Um, so let's go right to the upgrades, custom upgrades. Let's go right over here. As you guys see, look at all the engines. You got the original engine, I think it's about 800 horsepower or so. Uh, then you got this engine that we're going to do now, which is a 6.2 liter V8. It's a really famous engine that we've been using for a lot of Forzas. Um, besides that, you get a diesel engine. You can slap in 2,000 uh, foot-pounds of torque in the diesel engine in this thing. Uh, then you got the V8, the V8H. I believe this is a 7.0 liter from a uh, Hemi. I believe this is also a, a Dodge engine you can slap in this thing. Uh, then you got this engine too, a 6.2 liter V8 that I believe is going to be the next engine. This is a Hellcat engine, uh, 707 on there. Then we have this engine, a Viper engine. Uh, then we have a V12, I believe this is probably from a uh, Lamborghini. And then we have this thing here from the uh, Monster Trucks. I believe this was what's from the engine from the Monster Trucks. So it got 1,500 horsepower in this thing. Uh, but we're going to start off with a nice normal engine here on an old school muscle car, which is going to be this uh, 6.2 liter V8, 1,017 horsepower with a torque of 852, weighs 2,600 pounds. So the weight, the power, weight to power is super nice. The tire width is super nice, but yet again, it does not trap crazy high speeds with it. Uh, we're going to leave it rear wheel drive and of course slap in twin turbos. I don't tend to do supercharger. Supercharger, you do get real nice acceleration, uh, but you do lose the top end that the, super, the twin turbos give you. Twin turbos give you a real nice top end. Um, so twin turbos always been the best way to go. And uh, let's go right over here to the build. Very simple, guys. Just put everything on here at race uh, to get it maxed out there to 1,017. So just put everything on there, race. Very easy and simple. Um, also the color as you guys see the color it's one of the newest updates they've added and now you can make this color here which is a super super black uh, color you can make um, by doing that I'm gonna show you guys that as well so that is it let's go over here and we're going to put that there race uh, right to the suspension is gonna be the only thing that's gonna be rally it's gonna be the suspension rally suspension very soft um, you can get it really, really low with the softness on the rally suspension, which is really good to distribute the power. And besides that, everything else is just going to be raced. Besides this, we're not going to put nothing on there. We don't need the row cage. Uh, row cage hasn't been needed since like Horizon 3. So uh, no need for row cages. Put that flywheel on there. Uh, slap on the race on the transmission. And then everything else is just pretty much race. That's it. Just race. Uh, let's go right to the tires guys we have drag tires drag tire compound make sure to put these do not put the slick race tires make sure to put these these are more grippier um, no width in the front no need for it and then full width in the rear so we got 305s in the rear so initially in pencil this car should move very very nice uh, with the 305s in the back weighing only 2600 pounds this should in theory move um, but it doesn't uh, top out that good so it's uh, Forza, Forza Logics for you guys. Just slap in any any lightweight wheels you guys like. I got these whole shots on there. And uh, what else? What else? That is it. Let's go on um, the sizes. Leave it alone. We got 14s and also 14s. And uh, if you want to put spacers, go ahead. I heard putting spacers actually s s makes you slower. Um, don't know if it does or not. 
Um, and there you go, guys. You can take off the bumpers there. Let's do that. Let's take off the bumpers there. Reduce more weight on there. So it looks like you can do that to the front and also the rear. So now we're at 2,500 on the weight. Did not know you can do that. Uh, I knew you can do the hood, though. So we're going to put in the hood to reduce more weight as well. So now we're at 25 on the weight there. So it weighs a lot lower. That's really, really, really nice. So pretty cool. Pretty, 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 pretty cool. Got you guys the full build and tune. I'm about to show you guys the tune now. Let's go over here, guys. 40 in the front, 15 in the rear. And then it does 2.10 to 64.50 to 100 traps around 219. The top speed, I did not do the top speed, um, really. I just kind of, you know, have it for the quarter mile. Uh, besides that, it got 2.2, 450, uh, 282, 151, and 0.80. Uh, so remember, this is going to be a nice quarter mile car. Most likely going to be all four gears here you're going to use for the quarter mile. Um, it's initially what we will do uh, with an old school muscle car. Instead of doing the half a mile, half a mile is not really the thing to go with. Um, besides that, we got everything else zeroed out in seven. 65, 65. Then we got soft in the front, stiff in the rear at 291 or 290. You can just do 290. Remember, these numbers don't have to be exactly to the key um to the to the exactly to the t but um it is what it is you know you guys can be around and it'll still do perform pretty good and then we got all the way raised front and rear and then we got one 13 13 one so a nice equal distribution so the front initially uh lifts up a lot quicker uh but then this front um bump stiffness will slow it down uh, so it's really really nice to distribute it real smooth like this Nothing with this, nothing with this, and 100 and 100. You want this to be open uh, and get all that power initially on both of the wheels to uh, distribute there. Really, really nice. So that is it there with the tune and build. Um, besides that, let's go outside really quickly. And, uh, or actually, well, I'll do it on the way back. Let's take it out for a nice little spin. You guys already know what this engine sounds like. So overall this paint job looks super 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 sick uh, some of the cars look better than others but yeah what you do is you pretty much um, paint the car chrome and then you paint it black chrome and then you put the wrap over it you got to wrap over it once you put the wrap over it you get this crazy matte super super dark black color onto it but yeah the car is getting extra dirtier so let's uh, fast travel real quick to the quarter mile which is, should be somewhere around here let's go to the quarter mile here um, so we can do a couple passes with it show you guys how to launch it it's gonna be uh, very easy to launch honestly nothing too crazy to do and then I'm gonna show you guys the other vehicle which uh, also is black like this one that's a thousand horsepower so let's uh, to launch it make sure to get the tires hot every time you bring out a new car you get the tires hot reverse burnout is the best burnout to do as you guys see, reverse burnout is the easiest and uh, best one to do. Very simple, just to launch it, e-brake and gas. Uh, if you press down the telemetry here, we have 22 pounds of boost torque is 628. And all you got to do is let go of the e-brake. And there you go, guys. Very easy. Uh, made the tune simple for you guys so you guys can tweak it and make it a lot quicker. Um, that's my intentions on all of it. But as you guys see, it almost does a 160. Um, I think it should do a 160, but that is super low. That is very, very low for a thousand horsepower car that weighs 2,500 pounds um, to be on, the, on on that category there at 160. Let's fast travel real quick. Let's go inside the garage. Bring out the other one with the original 7.62 uh, liter. This is the one for the Hellcat engine. Uh, let's go here real quick. Let's go to my cars I have a lot of cars I think I hit 900 cars finally uh, which I mean I'm not doing it to I just want to have all the cars so that if I have to make a build on the fly I do it uh, as you guys see this one has 1041 horsepower 896 uh, on that torque but look at it weights it weighs a lot lower there and it actually has the bumpers on it so we're gonna take the bumpers off probably reduce more weight to it uh, and see what it does um, so let's go over here to the um, let me show you guys the paint real quick so remember guys to paint the car you're gonna go to chrome so uh, chrome is right here you go all the way down to the chrome 
which is this here and then you press uh, X and then you can tint it all the way black so you go all the way black and then that's how you put it with the chrome there okay and then to get the wrap um, let me go without to get the wrap you just grab a black wrap um, so you just pretty much go to vinyl get a black wrap um, and then make it black and then you extend it like so and then once you go all over the vehicle you uh, you can save it and then you press the menu button and then you can actually go to matte and then the matte you can change it to to matte like so when you press that menu button and that's how you get it to be this black um, it's very easy and simple and uh, yeah 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 let's go to the tune now let's go to the build on this thing and then that will sum up the video the final tune I'm gonna give it to you guys towards the end the code for the 1500 horsepower all-wheel drive one uh, that one moves fairly quickly uh, but I know how some of you guys are gonna go crazy by me making this car an all-wheel drive which it's, it's been done you can make I've seen old school cars all-wheel drive nowadays so we're going to slap in the 6.2 liter V8 DSC engine. This engine is a blower engine, has a supercharger, as you guys see, on the hood. So I decided to put that uh, style on there, looking really, really, really cool on there. Um, real nice, old school looking. Uh, this has that 1,000 horsepower, as you guys saw. It weighs 2,500 pounds. And of course, it's going to be rear-wheel drive. There's no need to go all-wheel drive. That is uh, against the law. <laughs> um, but real simple guys we're just gonna slap everything on here race I think I didn't finish it off I think it gets a little bit more uh, because of the weight I did not want it to add one more item there let's go check real quick we're gonna put the uh, supercharger on there put that there and then there you go guys oil and cooling no need for it no need for the oil and cooling you only gain that not that much uh, horsepower but there's a lot of weight being added that there's no need for it so make sure not to put the oil and cooling guy nice pro tip there uh, and besides that make sure to do put the flywheel there and then uh, same exact style when it comes towards the suspension it's just going to have everything rally and then race on um, on other parts and rally on that suspension um, and so everything else is just going to be raced when it comes towards the uh, drivetrain here as you guys see just very very easy and then the tire stuff is going to be exactly the same it's going to have drag tires no width in the front full width in the rear and then any wheels you guys like uh, put those wheels on there got these old school hole shots on there make it look real nice and old school size of the wheels is all of the same and now we're going to reduce some more weight that I just found out so we can go over here and as you guys see we're reducing some more weight with that bumper taking that bumper delete and there you go man we're real low 25 on there and then I put that blower on the hood there looking really really cool and that is it that is it that is it that's it let's uh, bracket uh, bring it all out show you guys the tune for it and um, that will sum up the video, man. Uh, I'm a dupe. I'm going to post that other third tune on there. Uh, you guys are going to see it pop up towards the end of this video. So it's going to be real cool. Let's go over here, guys. 40 in the front, 15 in the rear. 2.4 is 0 to 60, 4.8 to 0 to 100. Traps 222. Um, and then we got 220. Final drive. First gear is 520. Very short first gear there. And then we got 267, 187, 137. So it's real simple, the tune. All I did was pretty much do this here in the first gear. Uh, so remember, you can always tweak it, make it a lot quicker. That's the initial uh, theory about it all. I got it with a little bit of positive in the back. So when it squats down, it kind of evens out to negative. Uh, so I got that at 5 and then uh, some positive in the front there. Don't want those tires barely touching the ground. So this is a nice little other tip there. Um, some people do it, some people don't. Actually, doesn't. it depends on your style, uh, if you want to do it or not. Uh, and then 65, 65, soft all the way around, lift it all the way up to the sky. And then we got 115, 15, 1. Nothing with this or this and 100 and 100. Let's bring it outside, man. Let's bring it outside uh, so you guys can take a look and... Uh, see what it does I think if it does a little bit faster I believe it does it weighs lower weighs lower has more horsepower Oof, that second gear love it as you guys saw the suspension is really really soft in the back because that first gear is super short so by that first gear being super short I needed to make this back suspension soft um, so it distributes that real short first gear as you guys see it tends to want a wheelie there with uh, the reverse and forward burnout. 
Um, e-brake gas, another e-brake gas vehicle. We are at 17 pounds of boost. Torque is 869. You let go of that, and look at that, the boost. Oh my goodness, that's, that's that supercharger there for you guys. Um, besides that, all the gears are very smooth. Topping out there, 158. So it's about the same. It's about the same as a 6.2 liter. Um, but now you got a Hemi. You know, you got a nice little. Um, oh, look at that. Nice little uh, Hellcat engine in this thing. So with the supercharger. You, know, you guys uh, don't see as much superchargers, but there it is, man. Got the supercharger there. Looking really, really nice. Trap's about the same. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me show you guys my settings really quick so all you guys have the same settings. Make sure to be standard on steering wheel. For all you guys that are new to the game, if you are not standard, you will spin your tires on rear wheel drive vehicles. So please be standard. Uh, simulation is no bueno, so do not use simulation. Make sure to use standard and be manual with clutch. If you guys haven't practiced manual with clutch, please do so. It's actually a lot fun than what you think it is. Uh, manual with clutch is the way to go. Uh, and if you wanna see your telemetry, you switch Anna to telemetry and that's how you see that torque and horsepower and all that good stuff uh, when you press down on the D-pad. Um, besides that, let me just show you the final vehicle and that'll sum up the video. That will sum up the video. This vehicle, I'm just gonna show you guys the share code for it, uh, post it up there. So let's go to it. This is the 1500 horsepower all wheel drive V8 monstrosity here. Um, it's not, it's not that quick, but it does, it does, it will surprise anybody that lines up next to an old school car like this, thinking that they're, uh, they're quicker and whatnot, you know, maybe not against like an RTR, but against normal cars. <laughs> uh, let's line it up real quick guys. So just put it right there. And then it's just going to be, this time it's going to be brake and gas, brake and gas. Because if you put e-brake and gas, oh, let's do it. see the car starts moving forward with e-brake and gas. Uh, so just make sure to do brake and gas. So just go up, brake, gas, wait for it to come back down. 22 pounds of boost, 11 foot-pounds of torque. There you go, guys. All-wheel drive. It's super smooth. All the gears are uh, when you shift exactly at 7,000 RPMs. Um, so and then you're gonna finish off fifth gear there at well, almost 200 almost does a 200 there with a old-school muscle car um, But yeah, that sums up the video man. Hope you guys like it enjoy it subscribe and I will see all you guys around with another Drag tune video. Peace out everybody. Bye. Bye now